Can you see what I see? Crude oil is flat, but gas prices are on the loose again. What the f Hi, so you want a water car? Me too. But there are two types of water cars. One water car lives in dreamland and drives on 100% water. But the water cars we actually drive are water hybrids because we use a little bit of water to replace a large part of the gasoline, diesel, natural gas. The Water for Gas revolution started very small with just me showing my 20 year old car in the street and then the news spread like wildfire and thousands of visitors came to see it with their own eyes. TV news featured my students doubling their mileage left and right, 55,000 books, 10,000 DVDs, 200,000 students and countless successful installations on YouTube. This turned Water for Gas into a worldwide movement and showed millions of people that energy from water is not only possible but also safe and affordable. Some used water for gas and doubled their mileage, which got featured on their local TV news, like Ray Warren from Oregon that increased his mileage from 15 miles per gallon in town to 30 miles per gallon, and Art Green from Virginia that doubled on the highway and nearly tripled in town with a brand new Chevy Avalanche. Many others got enough savings to make them very happy. For example, Michael B from the UK got 71 miles per gallon in, on his old Land Rover. Michael C. from Texas increased in fuel economy from 16 to 33 miles per gallon. Once again we see more than double mileage. You can read the many thank you letters on the website, but I wanted to share two success stories that may very well change our economy. Using water for gas brought these truckers 20% savings on these giant trucks that quickly added up to thousands of dollars in direct cash savings. The truckers reported amazing results, 21.8% more miles on the Freightliner and a similar gain on the Kenworth. That's huge for a semi-trailer truck fully loaded at 80,000 pounds up hills and mountains, saved between $300 and $500 a week. One million mile engines felt like new, pulled 30% faster uphill, engines were 10 degrees cooler and exhaust much cleaner. What do you think? Can such benefits save this struggling industry? What made this possible? Safe hydrogen from water. Water is split into hydrogen and oxygen, which is what we call HHO, using 12 volts from the vehicle's battery. We make hydrogen only when the engine is running and we never store it, which makes it safe, simple and lightweight. In this simple installation, the HHO joins not the fuel, but the air intake, which helps to complete the combustion of fuel. This also helps the environment by drastically reducing emissions. My student Alex Rivera from How to Save Fuel was proud to show his water for gas cars and water for gas motorcycles to Arnold Schwarzenegger. Between other improvements, his emission results show zero CO2 and I've seen others with similar results. Setting. Uh -huh. And then these are relating to those. Right. Why are those better? And these those? are at 62 to 45. This is at 40. This is my one of the carbons went down to zero. Uh -huh. This one was up at about the three to 400 range, and it went down to 53. When my smog man did the, when my smog man did this test, uh -huh. he said it's impossible. He didn't say it was amazing. He said it's impossible. Wow, like he had never seen that before. Yeah. Back in the 70s, NASA tested and found that adding hydrogen to fuel improves engine economy and emissions. Thousands of other official science documents are shown in this book. I'll tell you how to get it free and you'll be amazed how many scientists validated these benefits. Does free energy break the rules of physics? In Israel, everybody and his sister are using solar heaters and this is our brand new panel. This is free energy because after three years it pays for the system and you start getting free energy for many more years. Invented by Dr. Tzvi Tavor in the early 50s, this invention alone saves the state of Israel hundreds of millions every year. For one household this means about $10,000 of free energy after the system paid for itself. When I tried to tell this to highly technical Californians, they insisted it was wasn't economically sound. Look at my neighbors. They are not rich, which is exactly why they cannot refuse a $10,000 gift from the sun. Does water for gas break the rules of physics? Where is the free energy coming from? According to images and numbers from the US Department of Energy, less than 20% of the fuel you buy turns into useful energy. But since this is a fun little video, we won't dive into the science because you can read all about it in my books. Now let's look at the math of extracting free energy in a car. This, the air in these two balloons is connected together in this demonstration and there's just that amount of fuel that you put into this vehicle. As we see from the numbers of the uh, Department of Energy, 
This is the 80% that goes to waste for different reasons. Most of them, as you can see, is for engine inefficiencies. Only 20% right here goes to forward motion. Now, what we do is this hand represents the HHO system, the hydrogen on demand system. And what we do is we don't handle this and we don't, definitely we don't bring free energy from outer space. The free energy is right here in the waste. This goes to waste and we don't want so much to go to, wa to, go to waste. And all we do is we squeeze it a little bit. Now, if we squeeze just a little bit of waste and save a little bit out of the waste, those 20% grow to 30, maybe 40%. So from, if we get to, from 20% here, we get 40%, that's double mileage. And if we get just a little bit less, then we still have a lot of mileage coming from here. Again, not from outer space, not out of magic, not out of breaking the rules of physics. The rules of physics are such that we have a lot of energy here. And the rules of the industry are that cars are not perfect. Otherwise, they wouldn't have so much waste. This is the numbers from the government. 80% goes to waste, sometimes more than 80%. So what do we do? We just squeeze a little bit and we get double mileage or we get a lot more mileage out of the fuel. This together is the fuel, see? Together, that's the fuel. We don't want so much waste. And we, we, we can't produce something like this. Like 80% goes to, to the wheels. No, we just, we just gonna go a little bit of squeeze, little bit of a squeeze, and that's how we get a lot more mileage. Now, is this magic? No. Now, see what, what I done here? Just the T and two balloons. Can you do this yourself? Please do. You know why? I want you to make these two balloons connected to a car from the dollar store or something and show this demonstration to your congressman, to your whoever, to anybody who says this is impossible, you're bringing free energy out of thin air. Show them where the free energy is coming from and why they need to do something about this waste and how easy it is to get a lot more miles by just squeezing a little bit out of the waste. Okay? Thank you. Some ask if it's legal. If safe hydrogen from water wasn't legal, then why would cities like Beloit in Wisconsin and Haniapath in South Carolina install such systems on their police cars? They got high mileage safely and it's well documented on Google and YouTube. In chapter 4, this book shows you why the law is on your side. Now if it's so good, then why don't automakers use it? This may surprise you, it's good for you, but bad for them. Remember how Michael B was so happy and proud of his 39 year old Land Rover? Do you think he's going to rush to the store to buy a new car? And these truckers who said their engines felt like new when both actually had over a million miles on the engines, why would they pay for new trucks in these hard times? Could you understand now why they don't like it? But their loss is your gain and you should get this technology today. So let's recoup. Use water to help fuel your car with hydrogen oxygen generators. Safe hydrogen is taken from water but there is no hydrogen storage. Clean the air, reduce emissions, boost engine power, improve mileage, save money. This is a hundred year old technology tested and proven by NASA and many others. Additional benefits are smoother, quieter ride and lower cost of maintenance. Great for diesels too. But that's not all. You need to know how to get the very best economy from your vehicle or machine. Click the button below and we'll send you the latest publication free of charge to show you how to do it. This is not some sales letter but real information that you can use to save money. We'll also send you the science book so you can see that hydrogen on demand is a big legal and very scientific industry.